2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. We are set to bring you the action as round one of the Eastern Conference playoffs continues on 2K Sports. Welcome everyone, courtside with two ex-NBA stars, Grant Hill and Brent Berry. I'm Brian Anderson. We've got Ali LaForce on the sidelines tonight as well. So let's take a look at the starters for the Philadelphia 76ers. Harrison and Bede are in the middle. Kyle Lowry out there with Maxi, And it's Oubre in at the small forward position. And for New York, Jalen Brunson is out there with Dante DiVincenzo. Then it's OG Ananobi. Then there's Precious Achua. And it's Robinson in at the center position. it's the Sixers to start out. Lowry outside. Pass to Oubre. Back to Lowry. There's the three. Gets the three to fall. Well, Lowry has the ball and right now it has the feeling that he's automatic. DiVincenzo. Pass to Ananobi. Outside, DiVincenzo over Maxi. Rebound by the 76ers. And there's the rejection. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Lowry against Brunson. Lowry, the pass to Oubre. And that comes off the assist by Lowry. Good touch there. Oubre outside the three-point arc and knocks one down. And now just over a minute played here in the first. Releases. Ananobi can't get it to go. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Yeah, MB can throw it down from anywhere. So much power for the big fella. Now here's Achua. For three, DiVincenzo buries it from three. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Maxi with it, and it's Robinson picking him up. Sit back. Well, the ferociousness that Robinson can have around the rim is impressive. Count it. Here's Lowry. Well, if you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. To the inside. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Lowry's got five now. Now, Oubre will draw some attention as a scorer, but that's going to open up some passing lanes. He doesn't make a mistake that time. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. And here in the first, about three minutes in. And here's Lowry from the arc. And the 76ers, another three. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. Outside Ananobi. Outside, DiVincenzo. Basket is good. Off the assist from Brunson. DiVincenzo's got his second basket on the night. Harris outside. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Brunson with it. Now guarded by Harris. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. You get Brunson that wide open of a floor, he's going to operate there. Lowry against Brunson. Robinson with the block. Got hacked and still got it to go. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for the 76ers. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out a great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. They're one of the most well-rounded players in the game. Embiid is also a top-notch trash talker, too. I mean, he knows how to get under the skin of his opponents. Now here's Brunson. Pass to Robinson. Just five on the clock. 
Here's DiVincenzo. Some solid defense from Maxi. He's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty, uses fakes. Has to have a body on him every time he's down there. It be good. I mean, it's almost like the higher degree of difficulty on the shot, the more focused Embiid will be. Of course, as an opponent, it can be so frustrating to face a player who can score against your toughest defense. Now here's Robinson outside Ananobi. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It was a strong move. The shot's just a little off. OG Ananobi at the line. Two shots. down the first one. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Harris with it, and it's out of Obi picking him up. Lowry, good. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Brunson passes to Ananobi. 14 feet away. And yep, it's good. Ananobi's got five now. The effort has to be better defensively. Easy deuce. Embiid finds Maxi. Outside Oubre. Shoots over Ananobi, and the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. and gets into a rhythm, you start to see some of that confidence that's going to help out the team. Now here's DiVincenzo. Five points in the game. Tipped away. Lowry with a steal. Here's Oubre. Boom! He jams it straight down. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything. You can't help but look toward their defense. <laughs> they're totally lost. Now a timeout called by New York. They're just giving away a run right now. The question is, can they stop the tide? It's hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. Here they are, fans. Put your hands together for your Knicks City Dancer. Almost an entire new group here. Hardenstein, he's checked in for Robinson. Boyan Bogdanovich, he comes in for Achua. Josh Hart's checked in for Ananobi. And it's Burks in for DiVincenzo. Heels checked in for Philadelphia. And down it goes. Two points. And putting some muscle behind his play. Bogdanovich goes right through contact. 16. Here's Harris. That's good. His first made shot in three attempts. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Outside Hart. Basket is good. Shot. Off the assist from Brunson. Brunson's got his third assist of the night. And Hart loves going at the defense. He doesn't mind getting hit on the way up either. Now here's Maxi. 
Yet to see a basket. Hartenstein pulls it in. He gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. <laughs> they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. Who's going to miss first? Every time one team scores, the other team right back at you. Oubre against Hart. Out to Harris. Shoots. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And some changes here for the 76ers. Reed comes in for Oubre. And Payne is subbed in for Tyrese Maxey. Cameron Payne. And so it's Hart with it. He brings it up for the Knicks. It's a 10-point game. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Burks against Heel. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. And the 76ers lead by 10. Heald showing more ball handling there for you. He can be slippery. Here's Hardenstein. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Fires in the triple. Slow defensive rotation causing a breakdown along the perimeter. Pass to Embiid. Back to Payne. Over Brunson. And there's Payne. That one's good. And the assist by Embiid. He had too much room given to campaign. He recognized it. Timeout called. The Knicks. Here come your Knicks City Answers, everyone. Get loud for it. Tobias Harris. Brunson finds Burks. Back to Brunson. Over Payne. And he wills that one in. Sinking it right through the back of the iron. Brunson's got his second basket of the game. Brunson against Payne. Melton outside. The offensive rebound. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Right side, Brunson. And it falls for him. He's hit three of his first four attempts. It doesn't get much easier than that. Hart was licking his chops when he saw his man wide open. Reed passes to Payne. Knocks it loose. And here we go. The Knicks in transition. Hart, the open shot. Basket is good. Off the assist from Brunson. Now just a 3-point 76ers lead. Outside Payne. Two minutes. Two minutes. And he makes it on the layup. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Here's Brunson. And the shot goes down. Brunson's got eight points. Mixing it up down low. Brunson, not the tallest guy on the floor, but he can finish around the basket. Brunson. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. New York has gone two of two at the perimeter. Pass to Bogdanovich. Back to Brunson. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assists. Payne, pass to heel. He buries it from three. He's got five. Yeah, their aggressive approach on the offensive glass has created second-chance opportunities. And he gets that one. Amazing just how trusted Brunson is with the basket. The Sixers leading. Pass to heel. Back to Melton. 
down low. And it's healed that time on the assist from Melton. And that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense, a quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Defensive they have foul. no answer Paul defensively Lee. inside. First personal foul. Second team foul. Boyan Bogdanovich at the line. Ooh, one shot. best shooters in the league but what impresses me most about Bogdanovich is just how built out the rest of his game is he's a complete player the putback it's good on the putback and the 76ers lead by five <laughs> those second chance buckets are major bonus points if you can get them Kyle Lowry has been leading the charge for Philadelphia hitting three trays in the quarter, providing some the sharp shooting. Sectors. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And let's get you back to the action as game two is getting underway. All right, guys, what's your take on the Sixers so far? Well, it's simple. I mean, they started off strong, and they've been hot from beyond the arc since the get-go. They just couldn't seem to know what it was that they needed to do and how to stick them from outside. The defense pretty lost. The Knicks shooting a sensational 78% from the field in this game. So on the floor for Philadelphia to kick off the second quarter. They've got Paul Reed. Buddy Heald is out there with Tobias Harris. Then it's Maxi. And it's Lowry in a two-point. And an Obi against Heald. Harris outside. Over Achua. And he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. Harris has gotten his second bucket of the game. Oh, what a great option he gives them on every possession. Hardenstein passes to Brunson. Hardenstein in the post it's against Reed. And that really has to lift his teammates' spirits right now. I'll tell you, Grant, these second chance buckets could be what this game comes down to. Well, especially in a close game, every possession matters. For three, Maxi. Another three for Philadelphia. You got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three point shooters in the league. Kyle Lowry. First personal foul. First team foul. Jalen Brunson at the line. Two shots. First one falls for him. Just really impressed with the player that Jalen Brunson has become in the NBA. He has mastered the fundamentals. Mitchell Robinson, he's checked in for New York. The 76ers also with a sub. Oubre's checked in. Both shots good from the strike. And it's Lowry with the ball for the 76ers. Pass to Reed. Back to Lowry. Let's it go from 11. That's good Kyle on the jumper. Lowry. Lowry's got 13 now. Kyle Lowry not backing down. He's making some tough ones. DiVincenzo, pass to Ananobi. From 12 feet. Ooh, rejected by Harris. And they've just built this lead by attacking the boards. Lowry against Brunson. Oh, there's the alley. Throw it down on the lob. Really just mastery in the pick and roll from Kyle Lowry, per usual, making the correct decision. Now here's Robinson. Six on the shot clock. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ubre.
Here in quarter two, we played a little over two and a half minutes now. And he gets the bucket. Seven points in the game. Not letting the defense hold that shot back as Dante found a way to get it done. DiVincenzo against Maxi. And the 76ers tack on two more. And despite the defender's length, he goes right up from the mid-range. I don't think he sees any kind of defense when he's at that range. It doesn't matter who's guarding him. DiVincenzo pass to Robinson. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Robinson's got his second basket. And this is where Robinson will do damage. He's got the height, he's got the length. And when he's inside, he's going to capitalize. Pass to Oubre. Back to Lowry. Up and in on the layup. Lowry's got 15 points. The scoring is coming easy for him. Got to keep the ball in his hands. Outside Ananobi. Into the lane. Oh, and he brings it down with a two-handed jam. This feels like every year Brunson has sharpened his skills as a passer and playmaker, knowing that his position has got to move it around. Floats one up, and Oubre with the lay-in. And the 76ers lead by eight. That's ten straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Passes to Ananobi. That's tipped. Oh, stolen by Harris. Here's Lowry. And yes, it's good. He's seven for eight now. He's got a lot to do with the position that they're in a very smart offensive performance tonight from him. Here's Brunson. And the step back jumper is good. Brunson's got 16 points. And aren't we here with Brunson? This is what we expect from him. Crafty and efficient. Knocked away. DiVincenzo with the steal. Seventy Sixers foul. Paul Reed. Second personal foul. Second team foul. So it's the Knicks now. Trailing by eight. Here's Robinson. Thrown back. Out of bounds. Knicks ball. As New York keeps possession. Four on the clock. Here's Brunson, true on the 14-footer. 18 points for him. Brunson sizing up the defense and really good at operating in the pick and roll. And here's Harris outside. And that comes off the assist by Lowry. Three-point goal. Lowry's got four assists now tonight. That's nice vision there. You see that pass. You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Devin Tenzo. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Bogdanovich has checked in for New York. Josh Hart comes in for Ananobi. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for the Sixers. Melton comes in for Lowry. One shot.
They found their rhythm at the free throw line this quarter, trying hard to make up ground. Pass to Harris. Now Embiid. Robinson defending. You know, altered shots don't show up on the official stat sheet, but as we saw there, he does a great job of doing that as well as collecting the rebound. And that one's good for Brunson. It feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point, so he wants to be the one to get them back. Harris finds Melton. Harris outside. Back to Melton. Over Brunson. Boy, he clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. And the 76ers lead by six. With some arc and a nice layup by Brunson. Brunson's got 22 points. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. Philadelphia calls timeout. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Sixers making a change here. Haynes checked in. Let me hear you once again. Pass to Melton. Back to Payne. Over Brunson. Pulled the shot a little left. The bounce goes his way, though. Payne's got six. No hesitation from Payne that time. Playing assertive here. Here's DiVincenzo. Now it's Hart. And he's going for the lob. It's stolen by Oubre. Here's Harris. The shot won't fall. Good D by Bogdanovich. Outside Hart. Got a piece of it. Six to shoot. And it's good. Off the back rim and in. He's got 13. Philadelphia's got seven of eight three-pointers to go in this game. Harris left side. That one goes. Four for seven for him so far. Well, the game's four quarters, and after a tough first half, he's found his rhythm in the second. Pass to Robinson. Here's Hart. And he sinks it again. Seven of seven from the field now. Not stopping on his way in. Hart going through the defense. Payne, pass to Oubre. Now here's Embiid. To Oubre. Hey, expanding his range. They get it back. And that's the hunger that Embiid plays with. He just gobbles up the miss and goes back up for the score. Brunson passes to Bogdanovich. 13 feet out. And it's New York scoring again. Solid in the first. Fantastic here. In the second, he was just waiting for the moment. Here's Melton. And it's good. Two points. Melton's got four points in the quarter. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Pass to Embiid. Oh, wow! Embiid! So strong! He's so tough to stop. Even when you hit Embiid, he possesses the strength to muscle shots in. So for the Knicks, Hartenstein, he's checked in for Robinson, and it's Burks in for DiVincenzo. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Heald's checked in for Oubre. The free throw drops for Embiid. 
so it's Brunson who brings up the ball for the Knicks. Nine-point game. From downtown, rebounded by Heald. Philadelphia has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Harris passes to Payne. Melton outside. Money from the wing. Melton's got six. Yeah, this story in the second quarter much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Outside Bogdanovich. And the Knicks miss again. And just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. And it's healed, missing. Got to appreciate the aggressive defense he brings. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Hart passes to Brunson. Oh, might have been a little forced from Brunson, but he gets in there to get the foul. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. Jalen Brunson. At the line, two shots. The first free throw is good. They've been flawless at the line this quarter. They need to stay aggressive and keep drawing fouls. That'll help them chip away at the lead. Reed's checked in for the Sixers. Free throws, good from Brunson. Well, his body control is phenomenal, and his ability to get to the line has always been impressive. That's a huge part of his game. Here's Reed. Yes, and it's Embiid picking up the assist. Reed's got four points in the quarter. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Tipped! You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Payne with the bucket. They've now had assists on each of their last three buckets. Payne against Brunson. Over Payne. And that one's good for Brunson. Brunson's got 28 points for the game. Sweet touch there from Brunson on the jumper, looking more and more dangerous offensively each season. And the first half now in the books. The Sixers on top. They're up by 11. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Joel, some fireworks early. What's going to be critical to keeping it rolling? Uh, just keep moving the ball, uh, you know, get stops, and uh, I think the kids just moving the ball, playing together. We've been doing that, and uh, we got some hot guys, and we got to keep feeling them. Ball movement is key, guys. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be back right after the break for the third quarter here on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, you will not find an empty seat here tonight. Welcome to our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet, Shaquille O'Neal. You looking for an empty seat? Yeah. You're sitting there. only three of us. Right? And, they're, and the seats are all full. Okay. Oh, you meant in the arena. Ah, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Taking a look at the 76ers, they followed up their win in game one with a solid performance here in the first half tonight. If they can hold on and win this game, they could go into game three with very little pressure on themselves. Let's start with you, Shaq. What do you think about the Sixers? You guys know I appreciate when a team takes that commitment to attack in the painted area. Those opportunities look they need to happen. That's how they built this lead. And Kenny, your take on New York? Well, they have to improve their defense. Guys were getting burned on the perimeter. They wouldn't put a hand up, as my man would say, hand down, man down. Oh, you got to get in some help. That pretty much covers everything on I mean, Shaq, you think they played their best? No way, no way. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan.
Great to have you with us again as we return to our coverage of round one. You look at Jalen Brunson. What a contribution. I'll tell you what, he's still working on his playmaking skills, but he's been tremendous so far in finding the open man. Well, if we were grading playmaking today, it's an A-plus from him. Thanks for joining us again for round one of the NBA playoffs. Mitchell Robinson is out there with Precious Achua. Then there's Boyan Bogdanovich. Then it's OG Ananobi. And it's Steven Chenzo in at the shooting guard position. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. And the shooting numbers just keep going up and up for Dante. Jackson against Steven Chenzo. Now here's Embiid. He's covered closely. Five on the clock. Maxi attacking. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's on Dante DiVincenzo. Tyrese Maxi at the line. Two shots. And he drops the first. And the Knicks making a change here. Brunson's checked in. Harris is checked in for the Sixers. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Left side, Ananobi. Shoots over Oubre. And Ananobi gets it to go. On the assist from Robinson. Robinson's got four assists in the game. Harris down low. Achua defending. Harris' shot is good. Harris has got 11 points. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Embiid with a steal. Harris drives in. And Harris. Throws it down. Harris with a head of steam, put his head down, and then put the ball down. DiVincenzo finds Brunson. Ananobi on the wing. He's covered by Oubre. It's stolen by Oubre. Brunson against Lowry. Here's Embiid. Embiid through contact. How about that? Coming out to start the half, a perfect three of three. Here's Brunson, and a nice finish on the layup. Brunson's got 30 points. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. From about 16, Oubre can't hit. Their first miss after hitting three straight shots. But I like their aggressiveness coming out of the half. Chalk up two there. He's got 11. He's been terrific tonight. And with a little help from the other guys on the field, they might be able to turn this game around. Lowry outside. Pure from three-point range. Yeah, they've only missed one out of their first five shots here in the second half, guys. Their offense really moving well, ball snapping, and the shooting looks to be in great rhythm. Pass to Ananobi. Runs it against Lowry. The shot from 20 feet out, and it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Brunson's got 32 points. You try to stay as much as you can connected with Brunson, but knows how much space he needs to squeeze one off. Here's Embiid. Shoots over Robinson. And the Joel basket Embiid. by Embiid. 20 points for him. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do.
Now Brunson. 32 points in the game for him. Something about the little guy willing to stick his nose in there. Brunson gets his team going in that kind of play. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. They've been all about high percentage looks in this game. Working the ball inside and doing whatever it takes to get it to go. Well, looking at the stat sheet, I could just see here tonight sharing the basketball. The stat that comes up most is assists. So sometimes you have to look for your teammate. That makes things happen. They've done it. Good on both. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. They've led by as many as 14. And you make the next pass. Nice job by Lowry there. DiVincenzo against Maxi. Nice shot by DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo's got five points now this quarter. Coming out of the break, red high. I mean, they have yet to miss a shot. Maxi passes to Embiid. The kick out to Maxi. Shoots over Robinson. Outside, DiVincenzo. For three. And again, New York with the triple. DiVincenzo growing in his confidence as he works on his jumper in the offseason. It's showing up here. Maxi passes to Lowry. Oubre with it. And an OB covering. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Seven sixers. Kyle Lowry. Third personal foul. Second team foul. Jalen Brunson at the line. Two shots. First free throw is good. Burks, he's checked in for DiVincenzo. The 76ers also with a sub. Heels checked in for Ubre. He does not get the second one. For Philadelphia, they've gotten seven of their nine shots to fall. Quality shooting in the second half. And there's the lob. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. And Anobi finds Robinson. Works for three. Gets the three ball to go. How about that? The big man, Mitchell Robinson, able to find a teammate. And Anobi against heel. Oh, oh, my goodness. Big finish right there. Off. And that's the kind of fire Harris brings. Throw it up and let him go get it. Here's Burks. Offensive rebound. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That one on Harris. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. At the line, two shots. Free throw, no good. Well, Mitchell Robinson has really simplified his game. He's just focused on getting high percentage looks, being around the rim, both for offense and obviously blocking shots and deter guys from scoring on the inside. He does those two things very well. Hardenstein, he's checked in for New York. Josh Hart comes in for Ananobi, and he misses the second one as well. So 0 for 2 that time. I'll tell you what, they've been aggressive and they've been physical. Well, that's good teammate stuff right there. Looking for your guys. Buddy Heald has a strong feel for when to give it up. Boyan Bogdanovich checked in for New York. The free throw drops for Melton. Here's Brunson. Give him 35. 
Pass to Bogdanovich. Back to Brunson. Sneak it inside. It's Brunson. Well, the rest of the team has looked pretty bad tonight, but he's done a fantastic job of scoring the ball and carrying the load on offense. Time called here. The 76ers decide to talk it over. Here they are, fans. Put your hands together for your Nick City Dancer. Sixers now. Payne hits that one. Nice pass leading him to the bucket. Payne's got 10 and force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And Burks gets it to go. Nice move to get inside and create a good look for himself. Payne, pass to Melton. Back to Payne. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Campaign is a grinder and has stuck with it. His career arc is quite interesting. Spent time in the G League and a few years back he was out of the league. Now he's back, he's confident, he's dependable, and he's a huge part of a team playing winning basketball. The first one falls. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. Both good from the line that time. New York has gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. Fires top of the key, and it's New York scoring again. The Sixers leading. Outside Payne. Pass to Melton. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. And Payne just playing eyes up basketball, seeing that opportunity. Here's Brunson. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Brunson's got 39. And he's leading the charge for them. But let's be honest, he needs more help if they're going to get out in front. Yeah, doing anything he can right now to get his team to cut into this lead and give them a chance. And he hits it and gets hacked. A three-point chance here if he can convert. Yeah, good things happen when Embiid has the ball in his hands. I mean, this guy can do it all. Here's Burks. Seven points in the game. Pass to Hartenstein. Brunson with it. Great finish inside by Brunson. Hey, he's doing everything he can to keep them afloat. And for the 76ers, they're shooting an out of this world 77%. Melton against Burks. Melton passes to heel. Shot clock at six. Four, three. Another three for Philadelphia. Well, with a young perimeter player like Heald is, operating in the pick and roll with that kind of effectiveness, he can become dangerous. From 13, and the Knicks getting another bucket right there. Well, he hasn't missed yet, guys, and the defense is scrambling for answers to stop this hot start. Time called here. The 76ers decide to talk it over. 
t-shirt. Get on your feet. Make some noise. It's stolen by Hart. It's stolen by Heel. Melton with the ball. And it's Brunson picking him up. And that one's good. good. Melton. And when you've got your opponent down, you don't want to take your foot off the pedal. This is what great players try to do. They're not allowing the opposition to gain any kind of hope to try and get back in the game. Their spacing isn't quite as good as it was in the first half. They may need to hit more threes to stretch that defense. Shots blocked. Loose. Stolen by Payne. And now the Sixers on the break. Pulls it from the corner. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Embiid's got 11 points here in the second half. Just how awesome is it to watch the best of the best start to dominate in a game. Hard against Heel. The six-footer. And Hart puts it in. Hart's got 17 points. We don't see this too often, but Hart getting it going here and catching fire. Here's Heald. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Trying to claw their way back into this. And the best way to do that, minimize your mistakes and take good shots. Hart finds Brunson. And it's blocked by Embiid. Yeah, imposing his will. Embiid sending a message with that rejection. Payne passed to Embiid. And then Embiid with the jump. And after putting it down, he dangles from the rim a little. Man, that's borderline taunting right there, Grant. They're playing with a certain swagger right now. Here's Brunson. Oh, look at Jalen Brunson. Don't let that size fool you. Soft defense. I mean, they've given up 10 of the last 12 points inside. Here's Payne, and it's rejected. And that'll be Philadelphia's ball as it goes out of bounds. Sixers able to keep possession. So for the Knicks, OG Ananobi comes in for Bogdanovich, and it's DiVincenzo in for Brunson. Oubre, he's checked in for Philadelphia. There's 25 seconds left to play in the third quarter of basketball. It's got room. Another one falls for New York. Of all the action happening there, and it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. And the basket by Heald. Pretty good concentration by Heald there, just focusing on the target. Here's DiVincenzo. A strong finish under heavy pressure from the D. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. What has them in front right now? By and large, they're taking great shots. And more NBA action on 2K Sports. Coming your way right after this. And we take a listen in now to Tom Thibodeau on a recent huddle. Make sure we're talking on defense. Make sure we're talking. Everyone get down. We got to be more active. We got to make some hustle plays. Trace the ball. Read the ball. Move on the fly to the ball. That's now wanting his guys to be more aggressive, Coach Thibodeau. Yeah, just demanding that they be better in every area of the game right now. 
Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining 2K Sports in our coverage of this first round. Taking a look at Philadelphia. Harrison Embiid are in the middle. Tyrese Maxey is out there with Kyle Lowry. And it's Oubre in at the small forward position. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. You know, they're really being bullied right now defensively. Eight of the last ten points have come from the side. The ball's knocked loose. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Oubre against Ananobi. Now here's DiVincenzo, tightly guarded to the paint. Down to five on the shot clock. Achua can't hit. Perfect timing to rise up and challenge the shot inside. Yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Here's DiVincenzo, and good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. And some shiftiness from Dante that time with the ball. Harris finds Maxi. From nine feet out, and that one drops Maxie. for him. The easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Harris against Achua. Outside Ananobi. And the call will be against Kelly Oubre. That'll be a second foul of the game. The Knicks make it a switch here. Brunson's checked in. Now into the lineup for your New York Knicks, Jalen Brunson. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Pass to Ananobi. Basket is good. Off the assist from Brunson. Brunson's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. Here's Embiid. Robinson defending. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Robinson. 76ers ball. Lowry with it. And it's out of Obi picking him up. Lowry, the pass to Embiid. Clock at six. Maxi on the wing. Fires the three. And the 76ers another three. Well, for Tobias Harris to take this step, getting away from scoring and finding teammates to become a more adept passer, that's good signs. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but he floater. One boy, those sure are pretty. And Philadelphia calls time here. And things are always changing throughout a game. Teams have to adjust on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. sideline and hear from Allie. I had a chance to find out what Nick Nurse was discussing with his players. He loves what the D has been able to accomplish, saying to his team, every turnover is a big success for us. Keep forcing those errors. Don't let them feel comfortable out there. So expect them to keep trying to be disruptive. Good job there, Allie. Thanks. Who poked away. Oh, stolen by Ananobi. Three points if he converts the free throw. Second personal foul. Second team foul. OG Aminobi at the line. One shot. That free throw is good from Ananobi. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. 
Inside. Here's Harris. Good. And the assist to Embiid. The assist. Harris has got 11 points here in the second half. Yeah, I feel like he's getting more and more confident and might be able to take over in this game. Pass to Maxi. Beyond the arc. And the 76ers, another three. three point Man, you have to extend that defense. I mean, you really have to stay connected to him at all times. I'm not sure what the defense collectively was thinking there. you got to know where he is at all times. Count that bucket. The 76ers have gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. Indeed with it. DiVincenzo picks him up. Let's it go. And it's Maxi missing. That's got to frustrate him. He knows he should have made that one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you want him taking that kind of shot. Take crunch time, trying to get the foul, the bucket, or both. Maxi on the wing. Another three for Philadelphia. <laughs> They're getting torched on the Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Here's Brunson. Rebound by the 76ers. They've led by as many as 14. Achua with a steal. Step back and fire. Another bucket. Wow. And that gives him 51. Making it look easy. Lowry surveys the D. And here's Oubre from the arc. Hook loose. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And so it's New York with it. And so it's Brunson who brings up the ball for the New York Knicks. They trail by seven. Pass to Robinson. Here's Ananobi. Six on the shot clock. That one's true. He's now nine of ten. Oh, what great action we've seen tonight. Hard to imagine a more entertaining game. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. Mitchell Robinson, first for four foul, first team foul. Tobias Harris at the line, two shots. Free throw drops for Harris. I feel like Tobias Harris's confidence has grown over the past couple seasons, especially on the offensive end. Very capable of taking advantage of smaller defenders. And so he's able to get one of two. New York trailing. And Anobi can't get it to go. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. He doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. Pass to Robinson. Tries the nine-footer. That one off the back iron and out. And when he, he's this close, he's got to make it. The defense was pretty good, but just shouldn't miss it. And here's Oubre. And it looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. Since halftime, either they've gotten sloppier or the defense has turned up. Hart's checked in for a chew -up. New York has gone six of nine from three-point range. DiVincenzo finds Brunson. For Lowry, and that one's good for Brunson. Brunson's got 53 points. That's a tough distance to master, but Brunson making that mid-ranger look good. Here's Maxi. Oh, what a finish in traffic! My goodness! And this is the definition of a clutch player. He's six for seven in the quarter as they try to pull this game out. Pass to Robinson. Shoots over Embiid. He hits the back iron and sinks it. Robinson stretching his limits on that play from the mid-range. Harris outside. To the middle. Oh, Embiid in the 
face of tough he absolutely ruthless he's not about to start showing mercy now confidence is sensational and it feels like no one is going to stop him tonight from scoring outside divincenzo good on the shot divincenzo's got 16 in the second half not much else that he's going to do right now dante making a challenging game Lowry, that one's true. He's now 9 of 10. He's got a knack for finishing inside. That's easy money. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. Just his first turnover of the night. He's been poised and he's been focused. Philadelphia has gone 4 of 5 from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Embiid passes to Maxi. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Third personal foul. Second team foul. Tyrese Maxey at the line. Two shots. And he makes a first. He gets them both. And Brunson's got the ball here for New York. It's a 10-point game. Out to DiVincenzo. The three is up. Yes. And a nice assist from Brunson. DiVincenzo's got nine points in the quarter. He has been an absolute wrecking ball from outside during this half class. Here we go. And it goes. That makes him 9 for 13 now. I just think that's trouble. You're going you're gonna to let that guy shoot layups. You're asking for it. Now a timeout called by New York. Boy, you look at Joel and B. He's playing really well right now. And they simply have no answer right now for what he's doing to them. He's making them pay. Joel Embiid. This has been one of the most dominant performances I've ever seen. What's incredible is he has no off switch, just a tremendous motor, and he's making an impact on every single possession. And look at him. He think it's just another game. He is totally in control of his emotions. Boy, he is raising his game in the postseason, no doubt about it. Only certain players respond to playoff pressure like he has. Impressive stuff. Outside Brunson. And he lobs it up top. And a big finish by Robinson. Yeah, for anywhere you want, Mitchell Robinson knows what to do. Lowry with it. Here's Embiid. Down low. Embiid puts it in. That's the guy they're going to keep going to, as they should. The lead's only going up if they keep feeding him. And Embiid with the block. outside and he'll draw the foul he'll head to the line for two it's going to go on Mitchell Robinson he's a good free throw shooter Tobias Harris smartly looking to get in there and find some easy points from the line two shots So 
Oh, the first one drops. And that'll push the lead to double digits. And Harris drops them both. 127 left in the fourth quarter. Brunson against Lowry. It's stolen by Oubre. Now here's Embiid. He's closely guarded. Shot is up. And the sweet roll that time on the rim. That one falls. And the 76ers lead by 13. So that's the end of game two. No question, this is a big win for the 76ers. They had excellent production from the bench. <laughs> this team has strong depth, and in this game, it showed. This team is playing with confidence and heart right now. They're in control of this series so far. Yeah, no question. They're the more cohesive team right now, just going out there and executing their game plan. And one of the league's superstars, producing as he always does. What a terrific game for Joel Embiid. I like his aggressiveness here tonight, especially on the glass. He was not messing around. Here's DiVincenzo. Here's Ananobi. And he stays with it. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. With nobody on him, he buries that jumper. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. So no problem for Philadelphia as they get the win. And this win shows they have the momentum so far in this series. Up two games to none now. They just look so confident out there. They're playing selfless ball, and their chemistry has never looked better. All right, let's go courtside to Ali LaForce with our player of the game. Ali, it's all yours. Joel, in the past, you've certainly had your critics, and you have not run from them. What are you looking to prove out there? Oh, just being dominant, so I want every time people hear my name, I want them to know that I'm a dominant player. Well, you do have the ability to dominate every single night. Good luck moving forward. Thanks, Ali. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. Alongside Brent Barry, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson with our entire 2K crew thanking you for watching. We'll see you next time.